today I want to just give you a small idea, small uh, introduction about crankshaft. So crankshaft is used in our main engine generator, brother, almost uh, all reciprocating machinery is crankshaft to be there. So I would like to give you a small basic information about crankshaft. So here you can see, yeah, this is your crankshaft and uh, this crankshaft is for a compressor so it is very small and uh, this crankshaft is uh, called as fully built crankshaft that means this crankshaft is uh, built with a single single alloy like a single steel single piece of steel usually crankshaft uh, will be having like semi built fully built like so this is uh, fully built what is the purpose of uh, crankshaft? This crankshaft uh, makes the it changes the motion, like the reciprocating motion to rotating motion. So when the push when the piston comes down, that will be a reciprocating motion, and this crankshaft will convert to rotating motion. It turns. So that is the purpose of uh, having this crankshaft. And this crankshaft takes a lot of load, a lot of stress and a lot of compression stress, lot of uh, elastic stress, all those stress this crankshaft is uh, undergoing during the time of when the engine is running or the compressor is running. So the idea is now I want to show the parts in crankshaft. So this one and this part, this part you call it as crank web, this is your crank web and this part you call it as journal and this is your uh, crankshaft and this is your bearing bearing area and you can see yeah, this is your main bearing for uh, uh, this crankshaft and you can see this two uh, this two is called uh, counterweight counterweight and uh, this is called crank pin where this crank pin is attached to your uh, connecting rod, connecting rod which is connect with the piston. So, see here one more time. Okay. Now you can uh, see little bit uh, clear here. So this is your crankshaft, and this is your this is called your counterweight, counterweight. This is for balancing. This part is called crank pin and the bearing which comes here you call it as crank pin bearing and here is where your connecting rod is connected with your piston and this part you call it as journal journal and this two this two part you call it as web crank web so one rotation you can see here this is one rotation like how it rotates the complete thing rotates so accordingly your uh, piston firing order or uh, compression order will depose so you can see the angle one will be in top and one will be in bottom because this is uh, this got two crank web and you can see a lot of holes over here you can see holes uh, this holes we call it as uh, lubricating holes and all the lubrication will be happen lube oil will flow through this way and for the main bearing lube oil will flow through this way and from here from this crank pin the lube oil will be transmitted to your connecting rod and from connecting rod it will go to your piston pulley so that's all this is uh, some basic uh, information about crankshaft i believe uh, this uh, video must have given you some information about Next video we will try to show how to take uh, crankshaft deflection or all. Thanks for watching.